Hey guys, today I am going to show off a Pokemon collection. The reason this collection is slightly unique is due to the fact that I collected it not for value, not for investment, but because I actually enjoy the cards. So we're going to take a look at what that looks like. And a lot of the cards have gone up a ton in price that I find very unexpected. Back in before COVID times, I opened a lot of this product. So it's like tag team, it's that type of product, right? And these were basically compared to today, like the uncommons and commons, they weren't something that was very special. They were just simply cards that you would open all the time. Like some of this stuff, like the Latios, it's pretty damn expensive for what it was. It's no different than a regular double R in the Japanese set, which is just the basic rarity, right? It's a it's a, a, a GX of some type or a VMAX or something like that. So it's quite surprising to now find out that many of these cards, including the promo packs and, you know, even, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm, it's, it's very shocking. And there's a Venusaur down there that the price of a Gengar Minmikyu GX is so expensive because at the at that time there was a lot of tag teams probably more than half the set was tag teams and that was just the base rarity and whenever I hit them it wasn't like a great hit you were looking for full arts and so on it was just like oh well, well we got a, I got one of them and then you look at the price of the booster boxes of this stuff it's crazy to me so I lived in a time where I was buying these packs team up Unified Minds, uh, what what is the other set? Team Up, Unified Minds, Unbroken Bonds, and there was another really big set I'm forgetting, but we'll probably remember that later. And it was just very common to buy them. And you can see there's there's more. There's even more of this stuff. Maybe we can move this a little bit. Team Up, okay, so it's Team Up, Unbroken Bonds, Unified Mind, and there's one more, I believe, that had a lot of tag teams, but the tag teams in general are all super, super expensive right now. The promo tag teams are expensive. The even This is like, I'm pretty sure, the base, and then you can get the alternative artwork, which is beautiful. You're opening these packs. None of these cards are over $2. I promise you that. None of these cards were over $2 unless they saw play in the Pokemon TCG. And then one day overnight, they suddenly become $10, $15. And you got a whole binder of them because you don't really trade, right? Yeah, this one is expensive, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Here's the uh, Alolan Muck. That card was like $2. I remember pulling it and thinking, oh, that card sucks. And then you look at you look at today, and it's so surprising the price of these tag teams. I'm not talking about like alternative art tag teams. I get it; those are rare. I'm talking about like the base, like the very base tag teams are now ten, fifteen dollars. I couldn't imagine it. I remember pulling those and being quite disappointed at the time. So this is more of the EXs from the real, the newer sets. There's Houndoom. During the this must have been like 2019. I went to my local card game store. They invited me over and they said, hey, we have a problem. We have too much Pokemon inventory. We'll give you like a discount if you buy the majority of the inventory, which included Megas, the Megas, the Camrops, the Plasmas, right? The Ho-Ohs, the other stuff, right? The, there's an Entai down here. Entai is pretty cool. And I said, all right, I'll buy it. It's, it's beautiful artwork. I remember getting these cards for like a dollar or two because that was what they were worth. I wasn't like, if you were to get them for a dollar or two right now, it, it would be impossible. Especially this type of stuff, like the GX full art, not worth a ton. Not worth a ton, guys. Uh, sun and Moon, right? Sun and Moon. Pretty sure this is Sun and Moon. Let's see the Sogalera. But even older school stuff like the scissors and the Algron and the Mega scissors, especially the Mega stuff, incredibly undervalued in my opinion. But that's my opinion, right? Hopefully it stay. It probably it's not going to stay. And 
the stuff is just so cheap at the time. It was like a dollar, two dollars. I remember buying a bunch of Glaceon full arts for two dollars each. I saw they're like selling in stores for ten to twelve dollars now. That is really, really high compared to what I paid for it, to be honest. Uh, guys are another tag. I mean, you just you just have a million different tag teams, a million different megas, and the stuff is worth money. I bought it because I thought the artwork was really cool. And I was playing Pokemon Go at the time, so I thought, you know what, it's probably a cool time to buy it. I also owned a game store for a while, and the artwork is, at the time, I thought it was a lot better than Magic the Gathering. I kind of wish, obviously in hindsight, you wish that you picked up more of them, but I did pick up a bit. And I'm very glad for the bit, like a Celebi EX, probably $15, $20, what you think. Back then, it was maybe $2. I just remember getting a stack of these older EXs and these Megas for between one to two, to at most three dollars a piece. And now you look at the price point that people are putting them in hard cases and stuff. I'm just like, wow. Like, Hydrangean, pretty cool card. I also have a ton of a sealed set called Dragon Majesty. Dragon Majesty sucked, man, when it came out. No one wanted it. It was like one of the worst premium selling sets. I remember it. And I have a bunch of that because I couldn't sell it. Like you could not sell like a Kingdra at the time. Now people are putting them in display cases as if they were actually a good card. But some of the more, and, and this is how you know, just because they're a random shit, like a Zygarde, like who's going to buy like all this random shit? Mega Lucario, I think, I don't know if this is a promo. I'm pretty sure it is. And I bought it from like a mystery pack at the time. And every mystery pack had like a booster pack in the Mega Lucario promo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the promo. Beautiful promo, by the way. Don't dislike it. And another, another two tag teams. You know, like what, what am I going to say here, guys? Like at the time, tag teams were like less than a dollar. Even full arts were less than a dollar. And now you look at the price point. It's, it's mind baffling. You know, it blows my mind. Ho-Oh, Arteria. I remember Arteria was less than a dollar at the time. Ho-Oh was probably like two bucks. Mega Gyarados and then like a Silver Tornadus. That's a pretty interesting card. More Gyaradoses. Gyarados EX, Red. Oh, here's my Glaceons. For whatever reason, the store had a ton. And then Suicune. Suicune is kind of valuable, right? And Suicune was always a little bit valuable, but not like it is today. Mega Glacy, Wissy Washy, Mathy. So back to the Glaceon. Uh, Glaceon, I remember, was $2 a pop, and he had seven. And I was like, oh, I don't really want more than a playset. It was like, no, 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 just take them. And that happened to all the Evolutions. This card actually used to be expensive because it used to be played in the TCG. This was before... Pokemon took off as a collectible and Pokemon more was a game. This card was probably the most expensive card by far in this binder at one time. Uh, I believe they did come out with a promo. Uh, the chase card that I was chasing was the rainbow rare. And that's something else about rainbow rares. Rainbow rares were the height of collectability. Now like it's trash, right? I, I don't know what the hell happened to it. You know, it, it used to be, it's, the most expensive cards are always the rainbow rare. Now people want the actual four art trainer, even though it's easier to pull. You see, you can just see like the mocks, and here's a another tag team, another mega, another Umbreon. It just doesn't end because if you actually are a collector, not one of these posy posers, this is what your collection looks like, man. I mean, this is what your collection looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I got the Espeons down here, the beautiful Espeons. You got the Megas, you got the Garvadors, you got the other Garvadors before they got rid of that type. Uh, you got the Lunara, Lunaras, you got Espeons again, you got the uh, Necrozmas, you got the Alakazam, you got the Mega Alakazam, you got the Mewtwo, you got this, Latias, Bennett. And then more Jirazis. So I guess my main takeaway here is kind of obvious, right? It's like buy what you want to buy, have fun collecting, 
And if it goes up in price, great. Now you have a bunch of cards that you can probably trade into other stuff that you really wanted. But don't collect because other people are collecting. Collect because you love to collect and then eventually other people will appreciate that. Anyway, hi guys.